Hello, and welcome to Wyverns and Weirdos A Journey Home. I am your Dungeon Master Darby, and joining me as always are Zoe, playing Sevia, Emily, playing Beatrice, Laura, playing Conrad, Mitch, playing Exley, and Johanna, playing Fall. Let's jump into it. last left off the party made their way through the streets of Vasselheim towards the portal out of which uh, was to emerge Tiamat with the assistance of Arkham. They reached visual on the portal just in time for Arkham to spot them taught them a little, and as Tiamat started to emerge through the portal. So, with that, we begin the final uh, combat. So, uh, Beatrice, we pre-rolled initiative, you won initiative. What do you do with your first go? You are flying. She is indeed. Uh, Beatrice is going to, like, Arkin said his little bit. Beatrice is going to look at him and just be like, Hey, asshole! And Eldritch Blast. All right, roll to hit. Three beams. Yeah. And I get advantage on one of them. What is... Ah, oh, yes, because uh, you rolled in that 20. Yes. Okay, so I'm going to re-roll that one. So, um, I've just rolled all three. The lowest is a 24. 24 was the lowest? That all, so then all three hit. Yeah, because 24, 27, and 28. Nice. So, oh no, it's not loaded. Uh, that's all right. Let me just... I am... Very not prepared. That's all good. Need that one. So my phone's doing this great thing where if it goes out of an app, I have to reload everything. Oh. Um. So. <laughs> um. The first one does eight damage. Yep. And these are all four, so are they not? Eight. Yes. Yeah. So we've got eight force damage, nine force damage, and seven force damage. All right. A good opening. <laughs> and then she flips him off. Yeah. Oh, you got some fight to you. Of course. And that is the end of Beatrice's turn. All right. Uh, next is Sevia. Hello. Um, so, so we're right in front of Arkin. There's Tiamat right behind him. Yes. Okay. But Tiamat's not all the way through the portal, just her heads. Uh, just her heads, but she will probably be out uh, very soon. Right. Sevia is going to um, call out to the rest of the party. Mm -hmm. 
and be like try to throw as many trammels as you can I can't banish her until that's happened until then and she looks directly at Arkin and um yeah she looks directly at Arkin and says this one is for us and she is going to guiding bolt him at fifth level all right she has advantage on because guess what audience i also rolled an at 20. as you can probably guess from the wizard going second yes um yeah you can tell everyone else the wizard going second in a heavily dex based party yeah you can tell everybody rolled uh Everybody else rolled really well. <laughs> I'm so glad I had advantage because one of those was a natural one, but instead that's a dirty 20. Uh, dirty 20 on Arkan misses. No. It glances off. Uh, it looks as if it's going to hit, actually, but he bats it off with his shield and redirects it off into the distance. Well, rats. Okay, anything else? Let's see these. Um, actually, very, 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 very quickly, with the, uh, the Book of Banishment, it says it needs a third level, like, above a third level spell slot pumped into it. Yes. Uh, is that like a designated uh, to do that or could that have just triggered it I'm fine either way um, you need to actually designate the slot um, like Hell you yeah. are casting so the I magic don't... into it you don't you, it's not like you are it's it's not like you cast a spell and that also yeah. causes it yeah. cool then uh, I will remember that for later. And until then, Sevia is going to... Because Arkin's way up high there. Yes. Sevia is going to use her movement to try and hide from him. <laughs> and from the five potential breath weapons. All right. Um, roll me a stuff. Well, no, because you can't hide as a bonus action. So you no, just... I'm just hiding like yeah. a child behind a curtain. Yes. All right. I'm very small. Um, <laughs> but I'm probably not that far from the group. I'm just, like, trying to get some sort of cover. Okay. Um, yeah, so you can probably find, like, an alleyway that's, like, you still have a view. Um, hmm. And that, everyone like, can still see me. Yeah. Um, all right. Next is Conrad. Alrighty, um, so Conrad, as you know, Beatrice Surge is brought forward towards, um, towards them, and Sevia tries to sling the magic across, but doesn't quite, he like, manages to dodge out just in time. Um, Conrad, um, quickly looks over the remaining people here, um, Sevia and, uh, Exley and Fall. It's like, okay, here we go. Um, here we go. Must get the dial. I'll see you all soon. And then he's going to vault into the, um, like across the space towards Arkan, as close as he can get to him. Okay, so what? Oh, so I presume he's not entirely where he is. Six. Uh, what's your speed? Uh, 30. 30? So you can get there without dashing. Yeah. Um, Arkham um, is up here, so he's about uh, 20 feet up. Um, that's alright. Yeah. And while he's dashing, uh, he's, he's going to, um, he's sort of like, body cracks a little bit, and like, um, Amber flashes out of his eyes and runs down his face as the shadows draw around him as he's vaulting across his face as he cracks into form of dread. Um, and I rolled that one, that's 13 temporary hit points. 13 temp hit Again. points. Nice. Um, and then once he stops at that point, he um, 
looks up in those, like, those six seconds, looks up at Arkan and then grins at him and then he's going to use that momentum that he's used, he's used to vault over and he's going to try and shoot while the tremels at Tiamat. All right. Like, uh, like javelin throw while the tremels at Tiamat. Now, is a As... javelin a finesse weapon? Uh, I'm not actually sure. Um... <laughs> uh... Oh, is it? Wait, so so what Connor's copy? a very strong boy as his, yes. his belt flashes with like fiery rage. Um, and like. So javelin, javelin is a thrown <laughs> weapon, so it is a strength based distance attack. Alright, so. Range attack. So is that just basically I roll and then I add my strength modifier? Uh, and your proficiency, because I think you're and my proficient. proficiency. Oh. I believe so. Um, and your one is a plus. Yours is the plus one. Plus one. So you also add a plus one to the. Um, right. To that as so well. So it's basically a plus six and then plus my strength. Yeah. So <laughs> I'm figuring this out first. So. That'll be a plus uh, 13 to hit, whatever I roll. Plus. Okay, as the belt strengthens and vitalizes and just oh, pushes yes, his muscles the, just past Yeah, it. you have the yeah, belt. Yeah, I have a strength of 25. Yeah. Which we didn't get to cover on, but you know, Connor's just like, wow, this is helping me reach my full potential. Alrighty, alrighty. Um, so that is a 24 to hit. 24 hit, uh, the Tiamat you're hitting, aren't you? I'm thinking, yes. yes. 24, 24 hits. Cool, so yeah, Koro just bolts over, cracks into like this, um, like slightly less human, and he already looks very less, lot, lot less human than he once was, um, visage, and then just like stops, grins up at Arkham and vaults this, <laughs> um, Javelin, basically the tremble into uh, that arcs wide and sinks into one of Tiamat's um, necks, I suppose. <laughs> yeah. I don't know uh, what damage it does, but there we go. I presume it's stuck in right. at this point with that. Yeah. Song. Yeah. Uh, so it does the uh, damage of a, it does a damage of a plus one javelin, which is I believe a D six plus one plus your strength modifier. Uh, yep. D6, so it's a 3 plus 1, so it's a 4, plus my strength modifier, which is a 7, so 11 points of damage. 11 points of damage. Uh, just double, yeah, it is D6. So, so 11 points a, of damage. It's pretty big hurty. Um, <laughs> and then as a bonus, bonus action, um, <laughs> Conrad calls out to... bonus, bonus action. Yeah, Conrad yeah. calls out to Arkham, like, did you miss me? Oh, as a free action, yeah. Yes. <laughs> and that's the end oh, of my turn. Oh, oh. You came back tough. <laughs> Didn't do a good enough job the first time, I suppose. I was merciful the first time. Um, fall. I won't be merciful. Ooh, fall! It is your go. <laughs> okay, so fall gets into a, it gets into like a fighting stance and kind of like um, it looks so that Asevia uh, sees that she's already like um flinging spells and then ducking somewhere to hide. So he's like, all right, all right, I've got to, go, got to get up to him then. Let's get, to, let's do this. And he kind of like strums a few notes on his lyre and casts fly on himself. All right. So how, he's gonna, yeah. How high up do you go? Um, he goes up to kind of like, not right next to Arkham, but like about that level. Yeah, so. Yeah, let's... So, you, are you going closer to Arkin as well, once you... He's so, you're at right the same next, height? Yeah, yeah um, excellent. What speed, what speed do you have? At the moment, he has a 60 feet speed. Alright, so, yeah, you could you could get right up to Arkan if you wanted to. Yeah, I'll do that. Um, right. And then I'm first and gonna reach into his pack and pull out a potion that he was gifted uh, by Mordenkind some time ago. It's this kind of like acrid yellow with like swirling black streaks in it. He kind of like takes a deep breath and then chugs it and kind of just like shakes out his head afterwards like there's this like 
fizzing energy coursing through him. Uh, so he's taken a potion of speed. All right. So now his speed is 120 feet. Yeah. <laughs> flying. Uh, his AC is now 20. Um, he has advantage on deck saves, and he's going to get an additional action each turn. Yeah. So fly, fly is an action to cast, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and we do that's potions a as a bonus action. action. Yeah, that's um, right. But he now so gets an extra action. You now get an action because you're hasted. Yeah. Um, am I close enough? I'm, I'm close enough to uh, Tiamat. Um, you are uh, 10, oh, yeah. 20, quite close, indeed. 30, about 35, 40 feet below Tiamat. Okay. She, is, she is above you. Uh, Probably, you probably still have. You don't quite have enough speed to get up to her level. Okay. Well, since I'm right next to Arkin, I'm gonna get out my staff of striking and just. Wail away at him. Give me a good hit. Yes. Alright. Um. Ooh, I didn't roll well. That's a 21 to hit. That misses, unfortunately. Uh, now, how how does it phrase the extra action? It doesn't say anything about specific attacks like the haste spell does? Um, it, it does, yeah. It says it's, Okay, so um, you only get one attack. One weapon attack. Yeah, that's right. Okay. That's right. Um, hmm. I think that's all. That's, that's, that's your turn. Bonus uh, action, action... I'm gonna just I'm hasted gonna, action movement. I'm gonna do a little test. I'm gonna add extra two. I'm gonna spend a key point and add an extra two to that hit, making it um, twenty-four. Was it a twenty? Was it, it was twenty-two? 20 you rolled twenty-one. 21. Oh, is it? How much? How much do you add to it? Sorry, I add two. You add two, which makes it twenty-three, which I is Arkans AC exactly. Reconnaissance. <laughs> Excellent. Um, in that case, I will do a whopping nine damage. Uh, don't want to pump some charges into that. You don't have to, but no, not today. Just, that was a sad yeah. attack. Yeah. All right. There we um, go. All right. Next uh, is the Manticore. Uh, Chango. I think Chango was the manticore. Yeah, Chango. Uh, he's right here. He's gonna approach oh, you for Oh, that, that little creature. In the air. And uh, three attacks on you for um, a bite and two claws. Um, the bite is a nat 20. <gasps> um, the claws both miss. Um, so the bite is going to be, um, 15 points of piercing damage. Um, no problem. Alright. Next is Tiamat's go as she finishes emerging from the, uh, the portal. Um, and opens of course, um, with chromatic flames, um, exhaling multicolored flames in a 300 foot cone. Um, now for, luckily in your position, you avoid it. Um, and I think Conray, the angle she'd be going at, you would probably avoid it as well. Everyone else, however, um, is going to have to make a uh, saving throw, a dexterity saving throw, please, um, as this multicolored beam flies out. Can or I multicolored just. Cone. Zoe just made the most terrifying noise I've ever heard. It's because I just rolled a nap fucking 20, baby. <laughs> All right. Sam so right. just backflips in mid air. <laughs> Was it Dex? Yes, Dex saving throw. Um, 
22. 22? Okay. Beatrice? Uh, well, quite low for Beatrice, but that's still a 23. 23. Okay. Um, Exley? Seven. And Grog rolled a 10. Um, even with a nat 20, that is not a success against Tiamat's breath weapon. Um, as uh, she breathes out for, what is the total here? What is the total here? It's not showing me the total. Ah, here we go. Because it's nothing, darling. That is the that heal, actually. It's just zero. 83 points of acid damage. CB is now down to 33 HP. <laughs> Joe, you're muted. <laughs> Just freak it out a little. <laughs> That's about half. That takes Beatrice down to like half. <laughs> Alright. Uh, then, Exley, it is your go. Cool. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, I think Exley will take a bit of a moment, um, and he sees everything that's happening. There is a, uh, what looks like either a very large abomination or five very close dragons coming through a portal. Uh, so something's bad here. That man up the top is very obviously controlling this. Uh, <clears throat> but that's not what we're here for. We are here for a very specific dial. Uh, Exley opens his mouth to begin forming some form of like a barter or a peace treaty with Arkan uh, in a very respectable manner. And then everyone starts killing each other. So he closes his mouth. <laughs> Sort of, uh, if a robot could sigh, that would happen. And then I guess he's just going to sort of, uh, mildly panic at being engulfed in flame. And... Oh, where is he? There he is. So he's going to... Engulfed um, in acid. Engulfed in acid. Yes. Which, technically, both of them burn. Yes. So, uh, he's just going to sort of try and brush a little bit off, uh, of his... the random scraps of fabric that he rolls his clothes, um, and in doing so, he's going to cast, uh, Primal Ward? Yeah. Uh, to kind of try and protect him from all of that, because, ouch. <laughs> He's yeah. then going to move away from everyone. He's going to look at um, really just sort of where that hit, and he wants to go the, the just the opposite direction. Okay. If he can kind of take a left, like a hard left, and just go thirty feet. Ten. Yeah, I think that's uh, that's a bit too far for you, but. There we go. Perfect. Um, and that's all. Yeah? That's all he will do. He's going to look at this and go, I have no idea how to... <laughs> Why? Hmm. Um, that's, that's Exley's turn. So Grog's turn. He is going to rage. Um, actually, no, he was already raging because he has relentless rage. Um, he's going to, uh, in that case, um, for his action, he is going to enlarge himself with the ty Titan Stone Knuckles, smashing them together and growing. This is the closest thing I have to an enlarged grog. Um, 
and he is going to charge up to the front of the temple and he is going to uh, throw his Dwarven Thrower because that is his ranged weapon. Um, it's actually because of his, his size, it's just within range to not be at disadvantage. Um, uh, so he makes three attacks with the Dwarven Thrower. Um, so first one is a 21 that misses, the other two hit. So uh, he does 2d8. So, so 12. Um, Twelve, uh, nineteen, twenty, uh, so twenty-three, fifty-three points of, uh, of magical bludgeoning damage to Arkham, um, and that is the extent of Grog's go. Um, at the end of Grog's turn, I think Tiamat is going to use a legendary action. Uh, um, and she is, actually she has a, uh, no, no one's in range of anything she can do as a legendary action. Okay, so she's not going to do a legendary action. Um, all right. Uh, so next is Arkans go. Uh, Arkan is going to. Let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, can. Who do I want to give this to? Um, can I get... Uh, no, I'll save that for later. I'm going to get... Actually, hmm. This is fun. Um, this is fun. Let's see if this works because people are super damaged um, right now. Um... So he's going to cast, of all things, uh, sleep on creatures within 20 feet of a point. So he's going to pick a point where the most of you are going to be within that range. So let's see if he rolls enough. Uh, no one has less than 27 hit points, so he doesn't put anyone to sleep. Um, well, clearly made of hardier stuff. Hmm. All right. And, uh, and he's going to use his bonus action and you see like his, uh, his axe gleams with, uh, with radiance from like a flickering radiance and we'll, we're back to Beatrice's turn. Hello. Um, so Beatrice looking a little singed. Um, <laughs> is like, ah, yes, right. Dragon. Um, and <laughs> grabs the javelin and will throw the travel no. at Tiamat. Now, are you getting any closer to her to do that? Uh, she probably will get a little bit closer. Okay. Because you know a javelin doesn't have the greatest accuracy at a long distance. Yes. Yeah. All right. Beatrice would get close enough that she, she would know, sort of... Be 
Beatrice would know how close she needs yeah. to get. And I'm guessing, guessing higher as well to get it. Yes. Probably an easier, more direct shot. Um, All right. <laughs> All right. So. Oh, there she is. <laughs> roll to hit. So you have one of the plus three ones. Yes. So it is strength plus proficiency plus. Uh, so six, seven, eight, nine, plus ten, I believe. And the damage will be d6 plus five. Uh, 10 or is it 11? Um, so what, what is your strength? 16, I've got a plus 3. 16, so that's a plus 3. And then? Uh, plus 5, yeah, no, it would be an 11, sorry. Yeah, plus 11. Cool, so that's 29 to hit. 29 certainly hits. Um, so roll me, um, 1d6 plus 6 damage as this second javelin (laughs) lands in the, let's say the green neck. Wow, that's so much damage. That is, uh, 8. 8. Okay. Um. It's got her on the ropes. (laughs) Absolutely. (laughs) Alright. Now, um, and do I have much movement left? Um, probably not. Because you have some... What is your fly speed? 120. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you've got, like... You used, like... Like, maybe 40 feet to get to that spot. Oh, cool. She's probably going to duck back down to where she was. Okay. All right. Um, next is Sevia. Me. I know it's so rare to say my name so early in initiative. I know. Um, so everything is uh, well. We're going to off to a pretty decent start. However, we are, did also just get bathed in acid. So um, she's feeling. Oh, still has a point of exhaustion. So is feeling a little shit right now um so Celia would uh yeah I'm hidden in a little uh, how far am I from either Arkin or Tiamat uh, from Arkin you are mm, probably about we're just eyeballing it 90 feet and honestly because of I mean because because d and is non-Euclidean you're basically the same dis- like for the purposes of spells you're the same distance from Tiamat because Tiamat is oh, basically you mean like just right I have to crack out I don't no, have to use the Pythagorean theorem no, again we don't need to work out the hypotenuse rats um, okay. So you're looking at about 90 to 100 feet away. So that's the range you're working with for spells. Okay. Having made you explain all that, I'm going to change my plan. Uh, I would like to hide properly. Okay. Uh, not with a full action, I would just like to get more cover. Uh, uh, and I would like to use my turn a little selfishly to do a little bit of a, a cure woundsing on myself. Yeah. Um, I will just do that at well, a... Well, if you go down, death. you can't banish Tana. Well, someone yes. else could potentially take the book, but they would also have to cast magic into it. Yes, so I'm going to heal myself for eight hit points because I'm only using first level because I need okay. to keep my... Uppers up, baby! So, yeah. uh, yes, so CB is kind of ducked further into that alley. She's placed both hands to her chest and let this radiant energy 
float around her. Um, and she does uh, call out and go, um, we're all doing a great job! And that's, um, that's her turn. <laughs> okay. Next is Conrad. Alright, he's gonna get. He's throwing his treble. He then turns. He's already looking at Arkan. He's gonna try and get up to him. So, where is Arkan? He's up higher, isn't he? Yeah, so Arkan is oh, about 20 Arkan. feet up. Yes, and Grog's next to him, yeah? Uh, no, Grog is down by you. Uh, oh, he okay. just has the, the dwarven thrower. Oh, that's right, yeah, he's got the reach. Um, yeah. Oh, okay, that's annoying. He doesn't have um, great reach, though. That's fine. Um, alright. He's gonna climb up. <laughs> Try to get to Arkham. Okay, like climb up the uh, the temple. Yes, well I can't exactly picture yeah. what it is. Whatever the thing is. <laughs> yeah, so this is this is the front of the temple to um to the platinum dragon, um, Bahamut. Okay. It's like an right. Aztec kind of temple looking thing, or just like a lot of steps, uh, or... No, very, very like draconic. Um, it's kind of gothic, I think. Um, I'm gonna try and get yeah. up there. Alright. Um, just standard climbing? I assume so, if that's the Do you easiest have a way to get speed? there. Uh, probably not, because I'm not a tabaxi. Um, no. Right. <laughs> then in that case, uh, roll me an athletics check. Alright. Um, okay, so that's the internal 24. Yeah, okay, so you are you managed to get up to the roof of the temple. Um, Arkin's probably still about 10 cool. feet higher than you because he is, like, flying through what appears to be the assistance oh, of flying. the okay. mask of the dragon uh, queen. Okay, um, cool. Yes. Yeah. Um, alright, it's like, come down and fight me like a man, <laughs> and then <laughs> he's going to Arcan, and he's going to use, he's going to use the Arcan activating word to attempt to cast roll with him Psychic Lance, so let's say Psychic Energy attack, that's Intelligence Saving Throw. Right. Arcan's pretty smart, so I assume he'll do it, it's a 17 to beat. 17 to beat, Intelligence Saving Throw. Um, believe it or not, he's not actually that smart. Um, it's a 15. Okay, awesome. So that hits him. Um, okay, so, um, sorry, I'm going to really quickly roll that. I didn't actually expect that to hit. Um, because oh. that is, uh, 7d6 psychic damage. Um, cool, cool, cool. 7d6. So, hang on, my apologies. I'll really quickly calculate that. Yeah. So that's a four, that four plus is a on three, deck. plus a five, plus two, and three more dice. Don't actually have enough. Uh, cool. Six plus four plus five. 29 points of psychic damage. Um, kind of just like, ex like he just taunts this and then just like this energy just explodes forth from him. Like probably, it's meant to be from your forehead, but probably like just the energy coalesce from, from yeah. his eyes as they bleed amber. Um, um, and he just forces that forward into him. Yeah, and like a trickle of amber, like a blood-like amber comes from like Arkan's nostril. Um, <laughs> but also, can you roll me a charisma saving throw, please? Okay, yes, yeah, sure. Uh, 18. 18. Okay, you see a flicker in the corner of your eyes of an amber strad before it disappears. And so Conrad like attacks Arkham, probably as Arkham like just, just shaken a bit. Conrad turns his head back. <laughs> Come on, get down here. Finish what you started. All right. 
Um, That's all I can do. Yeah. Oh, and um, uh, who's with him? And then he's he's going to call out to Krog, I guess, and be like, "Get up here, Krog! Let's stop him!" And that's the help action for him. All right. All right. Um, so, um, <laughs> uh, forward is your car. Okay. Um, yeah, I think forward just call out to everyone and be like, you all good? All right, we've got this. And then start um, wailing on um, Arkin with a flurry of blows. So first strike into hit, uh, that's 25. So uh, That'll hit. That'll hit. And I'll expend some two charges on the staff as well. Yeah. So that's 12 plus 4. Okay. 16 damage for that one. Okay. Not too bad. Next. And then the second hit. strike as a 21 to hit, so I imagine. 21 I misses. Just... Um, unless you want to use a key, unless you want to use a key point to push it through. I'll say it's that one. Okay. Um, but then he goes in for um, he goes in for a kick, and that's a thirty-three to hit. Thirty-three definitely hits. <laughs> oh, excellent! Um, Eleven damage plus two, a thirteen damage for that one. All right. And then I. Uh, it's next star, um, an arm strike, uh, that's a 23 to hit, I will spend a key on that. Whoops. Uh, um, you don't need to spend, to... no, you don't oh, need to, because his AC 23? was 23. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was 24. No. Fantastic, alright. So that, uh, comes to 11 points of damage. Alright. Uh, and then he's gonna... Your hasted oh, yeah. action, yeah. Yeah! Your hasted action. And part of the flurry of blows, he's going to disengage um, yeah. away from Arkin and fly a bit closer to Tiamat so that yeah. he's within 30 feet. And haste okay. action, he's going to try to throw his tremor uh, javelin. All right. Uh, roll to hit. Fingers crossed. Ooh. Oh, that was a 17. 17 misses, unfortunately. <sighs> <laughs> so does it just kind of clatter to the ground? Or on, is it uh, on the yeah, so it, it clatters to the roof of the temple. Um, okay. All right. um, oh dear. And then I'll use whatever being move and I have to try to start flying down to the treble. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, next... You, um, let's see, you all hear a, uh, a, um, a revving as, um, as moving towards the fray, Mordenkainen, Atop uh, Conrad's infernal machine shows up. Um. Okay, that's cool. Is he wearing fantasy sunglasses? Um, no, he is not. I'm um, imagining them. You, listeners, you can do the same. Look at the jacket. What a funny legend. Bring it over um, the. That's so nice. Cool bike. And he is going to see that um, that Conrad, Exley, Grog, and Sevia are kind of grounded. He's going to judge that Sevia probably doesn't need it with her skill set, and he's going to cast a uh, fifth level fly on Conrad, Grog, and Exley. Um, Thank you. And that is his turn. Um, next is Chango's go. Um, Chango is going to... Uh, Chango's going to fly down to you, Conrad. And... Fair, uh, fair. Yeah. And he's going to do... Uh, three attacks. Bite 
and two claws. Um, the lowest of which is a 16, which I believe misses. Oh, so it's 16 misses? Yeah, then so 18. 19. So nope. one, one claw attack hits. So Connor kind of like dodges the other two things. It's like, I told you to fight me yourself, not your pet. <laughs> Which is uh, eight hit points of piercing, da- uh, slashing damage. It but just doesn't goes, even doesn't smiles even off him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> doesn't the even get past you. A couple yeah. of teardrops spray away, but that's it. <laughs> he is um, fine. He's angry. Mm. Uh, next is Tiamat. Let's let's roll quickly for nope, that's a two, so she doesn't get a breath back. Uh, what is her range on? Okay, so it's it's not that long, but um, so fall is about thirty feet away from Tiamat. Um, so Tiamat is going to uh, close the gap a little bit, fly down uh, fifteen feet is going to do a multi-attack on you. Um, so, start with the bite. Uh, that is... Yeah, these... these I need to roll a nat 1 for these to miss. Her oh, modifier is plus 19. Um, that's cocked. Uh, yeah. And, yeah, so all three hit. Um, so the bite does... Um, a total of 39 points of damage. Okay. Um, oh, no. The claw um, does 23 points and you are grappled. Um, and the tail does 30 points of damage. Oh boy. Um, I should have specified more of her moves. Phil is not looking good. No, I don't imagine he is. <laughs> um, actually, yeah, you are, you are not he looking good. A lot of blood. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, Okay, um, next is Axley's go. So, this is going very well, I think. Um, Axley is uh, somehow now able to fly. He will metaphorically tip a hat to the man that was his master. And... Uh, then he will look at really everything that's happening. Uh, Conrad's being attacked by a, uh, a very loyal but weird-looking dog, um, and there's a giant five-headed dragon in the sky that's uh, holding on to fall. But I've got this javelin in my hand, and I can now fly. So we're going to try and launch this weird amalgamation of platinum and gold and just whatever other metal we found lying around on the ground. Uh, Exley's going to try and get as close as he can and just yeet the treble. All right. Uh, Tim, uh, um, do you have proficiency in javelins? With a javelin, yes, Exley does. Okay. He's never um, used one, but he's no. seen other people use one. So this How one is just flat. Play? Um... So five plus your strength is a plus two, I believe. Yeah. So a plus seven to this roll. Excellent. Nothing can possibly go wrong. You need a 16 or higher. That is not that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> so he doesn't get close. <laughs> what does it, Mitch? It wasn't a one. Okay. How bad was it? It was a two. <laughs> okay. So that gives a, uh, a total of nine. 
Yeah, Trails that misses. Counting along at home. <laughs> that misses. Uh, does it hit anyone on the way down? Like just like a no. local. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. Uh, <clears throat> so Exley is just going to like have this really like badass moment where he looks at this javelin and goes, "I know how to use this." Fool! I do not know how to use that. <laughs> <laughs> Just Fair. as he watches it sort of arc off into the distance. All right. Uh, uh, anything with the bonus action? Uh, just sort of be like, oh, that's a real shame, isn't it? Um, yeah. I just had a realization for... Uh, you're about to live up to your name, I believe. <laughs> yes, I did not um, make as my concentration drop- check. Like, unless uh, unless Tiamat's so holding me. <laughs> yes, Tiamat is holding you. Yeah, because you're, you're not, not about to live up to your damage, namesake. But <laughs> yeah, you don't take any fall damage because Tiamat is grappling you. Yeah, <laughs> I can no longer fly. Things are going great. <laughs> Falls just looking very dazed. <laughs> uh, good thing you've got slow fall. <laughs> uh. Yeah, All right. I'm good. Yeah. Um, so, I believe next is Grog, who is going to, uh, uh, who is going to, like, things are personal. He's going to go for Arkin. With advantage. Uh, yeah, because help action is for anything, isn't it? Yep. Um, if you're a mastermind rogue, it is. Yeah. Um, so he is going to, in flying up, he is going to just leave the dwarf and throw a hanging, um, and attack with the blood axe. Um, so, let's see, um, um, so the first one, uh, is going to hit, second one, that's not... Yep, that's that's going to hit. Um, that's going to hit. I don't think he has... No, that's that's just a Percy thing. Um, so, uh, so much damage. So many rolls. Um, so, the bludgeoning is... 5, uh, 17... 26 um 26 36 46 56 66 67 68 points uh so he grog just flies up in a rage at, in a frenzied rage and is just ah, ah, and bish bish four Betraying me! And with the third, Arkan uh, falls limp to the ground. Um, and. Um, that does mean that Grog does get 10 temporary hit points. Which is fun. Fun feature of the Blood Axe! Um, would be Arkans go, but he just died. Um, which means it is actually Tiamat is gonna use a legendary action. Um, no, that is a thing that's that's a mythic action. Uh, so that's ah, uh, she'll still she will still make a. Furious, um, hmm, Furious Bite, I think, uh, or a, let's just go, let's just go a claw, as she effectively, ah, it's not gonna matter, like, she's gonna bite down on you in her hand, um, for 33 to hit, uh, as you take, uh, 24 points of piercing. Yeah, I'm down. And 28 of force. Oh, okay. 48. Um, 
Yeah. So, yeah, uh, feels very unconscious. Yeah. Um, Looking real bad. And she will drop you, landing you on the roof, and you take one failed death save. Actually, no, she can't. Ah. Uh, no, I'll, I'll rule she can't do that at the moment. So she still has to hold on to you. For now. Um, okay. Uh, so, it is Beatrice's go. So, Beatrice is going to yell at Conrad, get that thir- get that javelin and- ah. Oh. I'm so enraged that I'm not doing the accent. Oh my god. <clears throat> Beatrice yells at Conrad, get that fucking javelin and aim it at her, yes? Uh, as she flies in to grab four. Alright. Um, so, uh, you had the speed for it. Um, yes. I'm going to need you to basically be using your action here to, uh, it is an opposed grapple check yep. against Tiamat. Yep. Uh, do I add my strength to it at all or anything? Uh, you do. So this would be an athletics check. Right. So, um, that's an 18 plus three. So that's a 21. 21, that is enough. You managed to pry. Um, I rolled really low. Um, you're very lucky you have um, fall in your hands. Do you yes. want to take fall away with you? Yes, yes, Beatrice wants to take yeah. fall down to the temple roof. Okay. Um, yeah, you just have probably just have enough speed to left to get there um yep all right uh i think you still have your bonus if there's anything you want to do with that yeah um i'm just trying to see whether i have a bonus that i can use um uh sevia is on deck Lay of hand, lay on hands isn't a bonus, is it? It's, a, it's an action. It is an action. Damn it. Um, no, I don't have anything I can do. Oh, I will say, as is you it? went away, uh, Tiamat would be using a, uh, a reaction to uh, go for a bite. Fair enough. Um, so that would certainly hit, little 31. Um... <laughs> So that would be 26 points of piercing damage and 25 points of uh, force damage. So 31 points of damage all up. Cool. How much? Uh, 31 all up. Yep. All right. Okay, Sevia's turn. Okay. So, Sylvia, you know, she was like standing there. She cured wounds herself. She could hear some combat happening. And then there's almost like this moment where she goes, I can't hear someone. And she kind of peeks her little head out. And she's like, Oh, oh. I would like to rage. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is where you whip out like investiture of flame. <laughs> I wish I had that. Um, oh, I forgot to drop up into the ground. Bye, Arkin. Um, <laughs> but, uh, so there's two lances in Tiamat. Yes. And actually missed with his one, and there's another one next to Conrad. She has not had to make any saving throws yet. Okay. <sighs> At the same time, there's also, like, no limit to the amount of times that you can 
make her make the check. Um, but also, you also need to um, you also put need to s- put the spell into the book. Mm. Yep. That does not count as casting a spell. I will say for the purposes. Of, so you could cast a bonus action spell. You are just expending magical energy as an action. Oh. Oh. Okay. Um. If only I had bonus. <laughs> Actually, no. So you said I'm about 190 to 100 feet from Tima. Yes. Can I use a bonus action and then hold my main action? No, I can't. Can I? Uh, you can. I don't know why you okay. would hold it if there's like no. Because the thing is, holding it would turn it into a concentration spell. Regard or no, because you're not casting a spell. You're holding the action. Yes. Um, yeah. Okay, so Sevia would like to bonus action Misty Step. Alright. Get close to the Tiamat. Okay. So, like, in this white fury that enters her, her mind, there's a moment where she thinks of all the damage she could do, and there's almost this moment where in her mind she sees Tiamat go up in flames um but she and in that moment is when the mist kind of overtakes her as her eyes roll back in her head as she gets closer but then when she is looking up 30 feet closer to the mighty form of Tiamat she realizes that there is nothing worse we could do to Tiamat than win so I would like to hold my action, to put a spell into the book, to try and banish Tiamat, until after the next javelin has been thrown into her. Okay. Um, alright. So, that is your go then. Um, next yes. is Conrad, your go. Right, so Connor's kind of careering around because he was biffed by the um, manticore and he doesn't know how to fly uh, very well <laughs> at all. Um, and then he sees Grog fell Arkan and Arkan drops to the ground lifeless. <laughs> fuck! Fuck off! No, seriously! Fuck. And then Beatrice is like, go get the treble! It's like, right, well, I guess! <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to <laughs> try as his best to kind of like hurt all along as flying to go and grab the tremor lid for the yep. closest tr- <laughs> um, you do unless you want to disengage as a bonus action you do technically take an attack of opportunity yeah, no, from Chango ahead. yep uh, Chango is gonna he gives no shits about this yeah. thing Chango, <laughs> to kill Ch- 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 <laughs> Chango is gonna try to bite at you as you move away uh, that just misses you at an 18. <laughs> Absolutely. So you feel like, leaves like a little snake. <laughs> gets like gets like the tiniest bit of like like clothing or something that that's like. Oh no, not today. Behind. <laughs> I'm busy. Fuck <laughs> off. <laughs> um, and you go grab the javelin. I was and... grab the javelin. <laughs> yeah. And I'm a throw. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm assuming you're gonna fly up to to get as close as it can. Yeah. yeah. All right. Fly up to about where Grog is. Throw yeah. the javelin. Roll to hit. Okay. Um. All right. We'll see how that goes. Oh, oh no. So it's plus my proficiency plus my strength. So it's plus thirteen, I believe. Uh, um, I believe so. Yeah, because insane strength. Oh, so twenty-six. 26 definitely hits. Uh, so that is three trammels in Tiamat. Um, but as it hits, Conrad, roll me a con- uh, charisma saving throw. Okay. Oh my god. Nuts. 14. 14. Okay, so you all see as Conrad throws this javelin, it lands in... Uh, Tiamat's white head before he goes somewhat incorporeal and amber in colour. Um, Conrad, um, you find yourself 
in what appears to be the Amber Temple. Oh, shit. We'll get back to that on your next go. Um, and Sevia, you, with your health action, channel the spell into the book and the text becomes clear. Does this mean I can cast it? At any, at any point from your next turn, you can use your action to invoke the rites. So I would recommend cool. people try to get Tiamat to make saving throws so that she burns her legendary resistances. Um, Cause you don't, you don't have a limited amount of uses of this, hmm. but we can only you stay do alive have, so long. Yeah, you do have limited hit points. Um, so, uh, but next it is Fall's Go. Fall, roll me a death saving throw, please. Uh, okay. Uh, six. That's a failure. Six. Oh. All right. So mark off one death saving throw failure. Um, Mordenkainen's go. Um... Mordenkainen is going to uh, keep things not too high powered yet because he knows that actually he's going to try to do something he's going to aim for something that will probably um, yeah okay um he... Mm, no. Um, there's a possible thing there. Um, he is going to cast... Um, yeah, he's, he's going to cast... Um, As much as it might be a waste of a high power, high level spell slot, he's going to cast Dominate Monster on Tiamat. Now, is she going to save or is she going to fail and therefore have to burn? She saves. Uh, doesn't have to. Um, yeah. Alright. Um, next is uh, Chango, uh, who is going to go for, to go back, uh, gonna go for Grog. Um, all right, um, and what's Grog's AC? Yeah, could hit. Um, that's caught. Okay, so only one of those hits um, for, it was a claw, for four damage, halved to two because Grog is raging. Um, all right, uh, next is Tiamat, who is going to roll a d6 to see if she gets her breath weapon back. She does. Um, Bye, y'all. Uh, she is going to... Because Mordenkainen... You're lucky Mordenkainen is off to the side because Mordenkainen really pissed her off with that spell. Um, she doesn't like having her minds fucked with. Um, and so she is going to aim that at Mordenkainen. Um, she rolls a nat one. Um... Uh, I don't think he has anything to give him... No, because it's not a spell, it's just an effect. Um, so... What type of damage is it going to be? It's going to be fire damage. Um, so that is a total of 78 fire damage. Um, 
bit more than kind of takes. Um, yes. Um, okay, so 78. Oh. 78 damage. Alright. He's reasonably fine. Um, Alright. Uh, next is Exley. Uh, goody. Everything is still perfectly fine as it was before. Um, <clears throat> so, uh, Exley's going to look around the uh, <clears throat> the battlefield. He's going to sort of look off. Um, there's a brief moment where he kind of like Exley has been adopting mannerisms of other people, um, and on seeing that javelin just kind of like get yeeted off into the distance by him, he just kind of very slowly puts his hands on his hips as he watches it fall. Um, and then he considers, well, he considers two things. He considers either going to put a bit of damage into this giant dragon thing, um, or going down to try and help um, his party member. How far away is Fall from Exley, considering um, Exley flew up 30 feet from where he was previously? Would he um, be within 30 feet of Fall, or would he be in 30 he, feet of Tiamat? Uh, he would be within 30 feet of Tiamat. Uh, I think you're just within 30 feet of Fall as well, flying down. So now I have to make the decision. Yes. <laughs> um, Exley is going to uh, look at everything. He's going to start to prep a spell as he be looks at flying up to Tiamat. You can see uh, sort of greenish, blackish energy kind of start to crackle around his hands um, before he does close his fists and drops. 30 feet to fall. Okay. Um, he's going to land down next to fall yeah. and we'll do a, a fifth level cure wounds. Alright. That is... <laughs> oh, that's a couple of ones. Um, <clears throat> I, today is not going well. So that is ten. Uh, that's that's uh, actually it's not bad. Twenty-five healing. Twenty-five. Okay. Um, I think that's right. Okay. Nope, I was off by ten. All right. All right. So, um, that's your go. I take it. Uh, it does. So he, he kneels down next to Fall, uh, places a hand on um, okay. on their arm, and then as Fall like, wakes up, his gaze shifts from Fall back up to Tiamat. <laughs> like, okay. cool, that's taken care of. Now this. Uh, Grog is going to attack Django thrice. Um, those are all going to hit. Uh, for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to use average damage for each of those um that is 69 points of damage all told and with three hits grog manages to eviscerate chango as well um all right um next is uh, Beatrice. So Beatrice looks to the incorporeal form of Conrad, sighs, and then looks back at Tiamat, and as like a golden green sort of magical aura collects around her, she casts hold. Um, she casts command at second level at TMR. All right. Um. 
Alright, so she does have... No, she doesn't so have advantage on the save. save. Okay, this is the same. Saving throw. Um, a total of? It has to beat 19. Oh, 30, unfortunately. Um, God damn it. Okay, next is, unless there's anything else that you're doing on your turn. Um, mm, no. Alright. So next is Sevia. Right. So Sevia sees life return to her love. Um, but that's sort of, that is important, but that is on her periphery right now. She is looking up at Tiamat. She is incredibly concerned about Conrad turning corporeal incorporeal yeah and uh for conrad conrad can you hear us Con conrad and you do not hear you hear a distant echo but you do not hear conrad um and then out of again that that frustration that lingering rage um uh, this is very stupid but i have to try um she will attempt to banish Tiamat. Yeah. Alright. So Tiamat. Uh, the DC is 10 plus 5 per tremble. So 25. Yes. Alright. So. Rolling. That's a natural 2 on the dice. Uh, so that will end up as a failure. She is going to use a legendary resistance to save. Okay. Sevia sort of knew that would happen, but just had to try. It burnt it. And it burnt it. Like. Yeah. Um, and she would now like to uh, hide. <laughs> just use her movement to get out of the way. Preferably within eyesight of Fallen Con. So maybe that, like, uh, the front of the temple, the door. And uh, if okay. she can, she's going to give Arkin's body a little kick on the way over. Uh, Arkin is say, on the roof of the Conrad. temple. Oh, well. She thinks of giving him a kick. <laughs> All right. um, and she looks over at Fall and just kind of settles herself with that knowledge that they're alive and looks back up at Conrad and just come on. You can fight it. You can fight it. And it's just hiding in the doorway. All right. Uh, Conrad, so you are in the Amber Temple in Barovia um, and you see in front of you the, a incorporeal figure of Strad von Zalovich. So, it has come to this, has it? <laughs> what have you done? Where am I? I have How done did you nothing. Do this? I have done nothing. You are in the Amber Temple. And our mutual patron has decided to pit us against each other, I think. Quite busy right now. I'm nearly, I'm nearly there. But the, you accept this? Of course. It gives me opportunity <laughs> to put my plan into action. Your plan? You think it will work? I know it will work. You've been clinging to the shadows for far too long. <laughs> You've been stuck in an endless cycle. 
You think you'll break it? That will not happen. Alright. Um, and he is going to charge at you. Um, and very quickly, he is going to make a bite attack against you. Okay. Uh, that's a 20 to hit. That hits. Um, you take... It is 1d8 slashing damage plus 4, so 10 points of slashing damage. Uh-huh. Um, and... Um, 46 points of necrotic damage. So 6, 11, uh, 17, 21 points of necrotic damage. Uh-huh. And you see Strahd almost starts to become more corporeal as he drains the life from you. Um, let what go, would you let like go, to do? Let go, let go, Um... So, has he got been gripped, or is he just, he just biting? Uh, just biting. Um, so, Conrad's probably still, um, holding, he threw the javelin, and he would have, like, grabbed his rapier to turn, to turn, to attack, um, Tiamat, before he yeeted. <laughs> um, so, he, instead of, um, he tries to, he tries to, he, like, his muscles, like, tense as he's trying to move out, um, but instead, um, as a bonus action, he lets his muscles go slack, um, and then, the, and then, and then they, like, shape and poise as I like to use steady aim as my bonus action, yeah, because I haven't moved to yeah. give me advantage, yeah, um, and then I'm going to see, he's going to stab up into Strahd, um, All right. with his... Roll. Flaming sword. His hellfire flame tongue rapier. Yeah. Uh, cool. So, and I roll for advantage. Cool. Um. So that is a twenty. No, hang on. Thirty-two to hit. Thirty-two certainly hits. <laughs> Excellent. I pretty well damage that I haven't been able to use in this combat yet. Um. So that's 13 points of normal piercing damage. Yeah. 11 points of fire damage. I don't know. Let me know if that's halved. Uh, it is not. Cool. So 11 points of fire damage. And then 28 points of sneak attack damage, um, which I will post a picture of. I rolled like five sixes and a four <laughs> or something. I, I'll post it in the chat. But yes. Um. Um, I've been sitting on that for ages. Um, yeah. Cool. That's his first attack. Yeah. And then he's going to stab again. Uh, cool. So that is um, 23 to hit. 23 um, suddenly hits. Cool. All right. So I don't get as many stack ons for this, but um, so that's 16 points of piercing damage. Yeah. Um. And the fire damage. Nine point nine points of fire damage. Alright. And I would like Strad to make a wisdom saving throw. Alright. Uh, that is an As 18. I, so he makes it. So okay. something shakes Strad, but he pushes through it. Okay. And that was the form of, was the form of dread um, feature. <laughs> but we're in the Amber Temple, so of course it doesn't shake him. But just for a moment, perhaps. Yeah. Um, although <laughs> he is shaky, as you did reduce him to half hit points. <laughs> Excellent. <Okay. laughs> and then, um, yeah, because he's used all of his energy to do that, he's still mostly limp. But okay. He bears his teeth at him. Uh, roll me a d20. Okie dokie. Um, that is a 12. A 12. So you, you find your vision shift back to the scene in Exandria as everyone sees Conrad become corporeal again. And he just like, just looks around just like, like a startled rabbit for a moment. All right. And then uh, clutches next, at his neck. Next is Fall. Okay. <laughs> Fall kind of turns to, um, I believe he's still in Beatrice's arms. Um, yeah, he kind of looks up to Beatrice 
And then after X, he's like, oh, thank you. You really saved me there. Ooh. Okay. And then he kind of just put, pops a hand on his shoulder and gives himself a feather of cure wounds. Um, so that's 20 points of healing. Alright. Um, anything with bonus? Okay. Um, he'll look over to Sevier and he'll say, um, Sevier, I believe in you. you. You can do it. You're a wonderful wizard. You can you can banish him, okay? Right, darling? Uh, that's, uh, Oh, yes, her. Yes. My apologies. Um, you can banish her. And that's a, a bad inspiration. Thank you, darling. Couple that's a D8? A D8. Yep. You can add that to magic rolls as well. Um, yeah, then uh, full, uh, despite how exhausted he is, um, he kind of like uh, gets out of um, Beatrice's hold pats himself down. He's very bloody and his tail looks visibly broken, um, but he looks a bit better after the healing. Uh, he's still kind of like shaking with that nervous energy with that, um, uh, just energy and so he's going to get do his extra action. Um, for now he's just going to use that extra action to hide. <laughs> okay. So he's going to dart into the shadows around the side of the um, temple. Okay, roll me a quick stealth check. Yes. Not amazing, that's a 16. Okay, noted. Um, next is Morden Kynan. Um, who's gonna do... Huh. You know what, because it's Morden Kynan and he can do weird things with spells. Um, he is going to do Odalok's, uh, Resilience Sphere in, yeah, he's going to upcast it, um, it shouldn't be an upcastable spell, but it's Morden Kynan. He's going to upcast it to a six level spell to try to seal Tiamat within, um, and so she needs to make, uh, uh I, I would say, I would say she can pr probably make a save. Uh, yeah, yeah, she has to make a deck save. Um, she's not great at these, um, and she rolled low enough that she didn't make it. Um, so that is another legendary resistance band. Um, uh, Manticore is done. Tiamat's go. Uh, Tiamat gets gets the breath back again somehow. Um, again, really annoyed with, uh, with Mordenkainen because spells going through. Um, Mordenkainen's gonna actually make his save this time. Um, and... Reroll that. Okay, uh, she's gonna go for acid damage again. Um... And that is 70, so that is 35 points of damage that uh, Morden Kynan takes. He's looking kind of rough. Um, Exley, it is your go. So, <clears throat> I've just got a quick question before yeah. my turn happens. Um, Casting a spell that requires, like, let's say, like, a touch, I believe it's a touch, hang on a sec. Um, it's not even a touch. Can it be flavored to have a touch? Yeah. Excellent. I would like to fly up 30 feet. Yeah. Um, so I push off from where for and Beatrice is mm -hmm. um, and I use that momentum as I'm flying up uh, directly towards Tiamat um, to kind of fling out my uh, new right hand and I 
and sort of like throw it out towards Tiamat and the claw hand dislodges at the wrist, continues flying an extra 30 feet, grapples onto Tiamat and I would like to cast Blight at 8th level through it. Okay, uh, that is a save, isn't it? It is. A con save? It is a con save, so he's going to save. Yeah, uh, yeah, that's, she's, she she saves. That's a 31. That's fine. It's but still that's half that's damage. What kind of damage is necrotic, isn't it? It is necrotic, yes. Okay. I roll good, finally! Oh my god! It's so much better. Okay, numbers are going to be hard here. So All right. Yep. I'm going to preemptively roll Grog's Three. attacks. He will go... Um, That's 63 damage, half to, I'm assuming, 31. Ah, uh, yes. All right. Um, okay, anything with your bonus? Um, no, he's just going to sort of, like, hold on to his wrist, um, which is attached a 30-foot chain from his wrist to Tiamat. And he's now actively attached to Tiamat. Okay. Okay. So, uh, next is Grog's turn, who does three Blood Axe attacks. Um, I rolled a crit on one of them, um, which I believe with Grog, he has Brutal Critical. He rolls uh, three additional uh, damage die. Um, uh, weapon damage die. Uh, I think those technically should get maxed as well. I think. So that's 48 before even rolling. Uh, 48. Uh, so 54. Plus whatever this total is. 54. 106. Um, 14 times 3, so, 2 plus 106, okay, so he does 148 damage to Tiamat, um, because of that crit, but he is, uh, currently vulnerable because he did go reckless to do that. Um, and that's, on that cliffhanger, that's where we're going to leave it, uh, for this episode, uh, at the end of the combat round, uh, we're going to take a break, uh, quickly, and then go into the end. Alright, okay. see you all next week, everyone. Take see you all next time. Goodbye. Bye. Bye.